Coal. As kids, we grew up dreading its presence in our Christmas stockings. Later on, we learned about the dangerous health impacts that face coal communities and workers. And now we know that it's one of the leading causes of global climate change. Though British Columbia doesn't burn coal for power, each year we ship millions of tons of dirty coal to Asia. Right now, plans are in the works to increase the export of coal through BC and open up new mines across the province. And Ground Zero is right here in the Lower Mainland. I'm standing here in front of the West Shore Terminal at Roberts Bank in Delta, British Columbia. This is the largest coal exporting facility in Canada and one of the largest in North America. But new proposals to expand coal exports out of Fraser Surrey Docks and the Neptune Terminal put Metro Vancouver on track to becoming the largest exporter of coal in North America and therefore the largest exporter of climate changing pollution. West Shore currently has the capacity to export up to 33 million tons of coal every year. In terms of how much carbon that adds to the atmosphere, it's roughly 66 million tons per year. That's the equivalent of more than two and a half cars on the road for every person in the province of BC. It also produces more than 700 tons of cancer-causing coal dust each year, which threatens the health of local communities and marine ecosystems. But coal isn't the only thing being shipped through the Roberts Bank Terminal. There are also plans in the works to expand container shipping with the newly proposed Delta Port Terminal 2 project. The construction and associated infrastructure needed for Terminal 2 would destroy key shoreline habitat and some of the best farmland in BC. The Roberts Bank Terminal has been shipping coal for over 40 years. But recently, because of tougher regulation and growing public opposition in the United States, Canadian ports have become the top choice for American coal producers who want to ship their product overseas. Mining is ramping up in the Powder River Basin in Montana and Wyoming, and the massive export capacity of the West Shore Terminal is crucial to these plans. To make things worse, BC doesn't even count coal exports towards its provincial carbon emission totals. The expansion of lower mainland ports are a linchpin in Big Coal's plans for growth in the Pacific Northwest. There are over 12 new proposals for coal mines in BC alone, with mining concentrated in northern BC and the Kootenays. These are areas known for abundant wildlife and spectacular scenery. Instead of moving towards sustainable alternatives and a green economy, BC is stepping backwards by cementing its place as a major player in the North American coal industry. Help us stop new mine proposals and block coal exports from going through our coast. Visit wildernesscommittee.org slash coal and take action today.